Hey guys, Video James, and we're back with Star Wars Commander. As you can see, we've gotten quite a bit done. Well, I've gotten quite a bit done. I got two mortar turrets and two more rapid fire turrets. And usually the way I lay out my base is I have mortars on the inside and then rockets and bursts on the outside because since mortars have a sort of range like that, they go farther away from themselves. So if you put them on the inside, and then stick close range turrets like burst fires and missile launchers on the outside you're kind of protecting your outside turrets while at the same time hitting with your inside turrets and protecting them so it's kind of a triple strike hey I just realized that was a reference and you did see we did move some of the stuff we got the droid factory over there now we've got two commands one over here one over there and then we still got basically everything else so we're going to continue with the story, and we're going to hopefully get some done. But first, I'm going to put some stuff in build mode. Uh, there we go. Build mode. Um, I'm going to make two of these duders. And then I'm just going to spam the stormtroopers. Just because stormtroopers on their own can be a massive army. I'll make two, jar duh, two dark troopers. There we go. And play. Yeah, we're going back in the story mode this time. See what there. A humble beginning. The Womp Rats have been traced to a small outpost in a rock-strewn canyon. Destroyed 25% of the buildings for one star, 50% for two stars, and 100% for all three stars. That I can do. Also, apparently... Or not apparently. I don't know why I said that. When you finish a mission in this game, like you finish a chapter of the story... It gives you a certain amount of gems or crystals or whatever. Hey, partner. Look at that, it's a research lab. I bet that's the reason these rats have been so aggressive lately. Someone must be experimenting on them. Let's take them out. Yeah, that's a thing, too. Is that... Oh, he said something about his ship. Is that... You think of the Empire being the only ones who ever had to do any testing on any wild creatures or anything. But then you think, how did the Rebels develop all their technology? They had to test it on something. I mean, am I just not logic? So, spam the stormtroopers. We'll see how they do on their own. And one speeder. Just to do that. And since this ship doesn't cost anything, this is another thing, is that sometimes you'll get troops provided to you that don't actually contribute to your factory that you can use in battle. And this doesn't happen in battles against other people. It'll just happen with your own story mode. So I'm going to just target this building, and bang, bang, bang. Yes! So we've got a tiny merc base in the middle of nowhere experimenting on Womp Rats. How odd, I wonder what they were planning. Did probably something involving Womp Rats. Yes, I got more credits, 1,500. I kind of need more alloy, though, because alloy is what we get for the turrets. Humble Beginnings. Mission 2 complete. You want to rate this app. Your mind powers will not work on me. There we go. And I should upgrade some more of these turrets. What do we have? We got level 2. Level 2. I can't upgrade any of you yet. I need to get my credit stuff and all that to level 3. I can upgrade you. And can I upgrade you? Yes, I can. Perfecto. All right. Now, I should upgrade the Alloy Depot, but I don't really have enough for that. And I can't really upgrade you either, so... Alloy Depot, best bet. But I just used both my droids, so I can't do anything. That's another thing, too, is you kind of got to keep track of how many droids you're using. Otherwise, you're going to end up not being able to do what you need to. And I mean... At this point, credits aren't really that big a deal, and Alloy's not something we need to completely worry about. I mean, we are going to have to worry about it soon, but not really that stressful at the moment. Uh, we got 30. I'm going to stop the Stormtrooper development, just because we've got enough of them. Yeah, you can go away, guys. Your mission is served. There we go. We got everything we should. Nope, we need one more Stormtrooper. Uh, I'll speed that up, just because... That's the thing, though. With small gem purchases, it's kind of worth it. 
But other than that, you don't really want to use your gems on anything other than the droids. Because the droids are what help you the most. And I don't know if some... Ugh, I don't know how some people have five droids, probably by spending money, but I ain't doing that crap. I am not spending money in any app. That is something that I try very hard to do, because there was one time I had an app, I think it was actually the How to Train Your Dragon app that I did a few videos on, that I ended up spending a little bit of money in, and it kind of got out of hand, sort of, to the point where I was spending just to get stuff. And luckily it wasn't too big an amount, it was like $2 for one purchase. But anyway, that's one of the reasons that I don't pay for stuff in apps. Also because it's basically completely useless outside of the app. Alright, we got the last part of Humble Beginnings. A well-defended enemy base has been uncovered. Destroyed 25%. Okay, so it's just another destruction. Yeah, and the mission things kind of range between attack, defend, or build. Those are like the three objectives you'll get for missions. Okay. Okay. Operative, this appears to be the true source of the recent spike in Womp Rat aggression. Undoubtedly, this mercenary scum is attempting to breed the vermin for their own ends. This base is too heavily fortified for your current strength, so I am assigning you an AT-80 and a squadron of TIE Fighters. Yes! AT-80! Oh, that thing is going to be beastin'! Do not get used to this. In the future, you will mostly be on your own. Uh, am I? Or are you lying to me? Because the Empire does kind of lie. Okay, you go in, and I'll send in my Dark Troopers. And the thing about the troops is they have preferred targets. So, like, the Dark Troopers, they like going after the turrets more. And the Walkers, they don't really have a preferred target. But stuff like the AT-ATs actually do have preferred targets. Uh, blow up the Womp Rat Nest. There we go. Absolute carnage and destruction. Rain down from the heavens. Yeah, this guy didn't stand a freaking chance. Did he have a droid thing? Because some people are annoying when they put their droid things, like, away from everything else. But they have, like, all their other stuff clustered in one giant spot. Yes! Why are you showing me arrows? That was all the troops I used. I can't look at any more. Humble beginnings. Mission 3 complete. 1,000 creds and stuff. Yay, I did it! Next chapter, Under the Twin Suns. Ooh! Is there gonna be a Darth -a Maul here? No, not a Darth Chopping Maul. Uh, I'll make another walker. And then once that's finished, I'll make another, probably, speeder bike. And then I need some dark troopers. And just fill the rest with storm troopers. There we go. Daily crate. Okay, we got our daily crate. Let's see what we got. Heavy shore trooper. No, I want the shock troopers. The shock troopers are better. If... If any of you guys don't know, if you haven't looked it up yet to look up stuff about this game, the shock troopers are the red stormtroopers that kind of seek out the traps. Okay, we got some alloy. We got a couple scout troopers. Some credits. Some more credits. And that's it. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, I do have a shock trooper. Okay, what do we have in the story mode? Let us see. Under the Twin Suns. Tatooine is a dangerous place and your base will need to be well defended against inevitable attack. Have at least 25 total walls. Bro, I think I already got you, fam. Operative, the recent attack on your base only proves Tatooine is a dangerous place. Stronger enemies will emerge. Walls are a basic yet effective defense. Build more immediately. Bro, I got this. Plan your garrison well, Operative. Do not squander the Empire's resources with a weak defense. No Imperial battle station would ever have a glaring weakness, and neither should yours. I like how they're referencing the freaking Death Star. It's like, no station of ours would ever have a glaring weakness. Oh, okay, but, uh, what about that huge, giant, moon-sized battle station you had with the one giant weak spot that everyone knew about? 
Y you guys don't want to talk about that? You just gonna push that under the rug like Trump does? And what we get? We get 1,000. Okay, can I do another mission, please? I mean, I should probably hold off, because I have a lot of credits. Uh, your base is about to be attacked. Oh, we got a defense one. Oh, this is actually like a good showcase episode. Operative, intelligence has intercepted a transmission between mercenary groups operating on Tatooine. They represent the presence of the Empire and are massing for a sneak attack. When your base is attacked, you can use your Strix or any ready starships, such as a TIE fighter, to strike the attackers. You can also use Heroes and Droideka. Uh, wait, I'm confused. There's no one over... Oh, they're over there. Well, these guys aren't going to do crap. You, I might have to worry about. Yes, you, I'm definitely going to worry about. Bang, bang, bang! Okay, what are those guys? Because no one ever seems to be able to use them. Crap, now that I don't have any of those turrets working. Uh, I should have waited. I should have bided my time. Okay, um... While he's doing that, I'm going to strategize what I should do next. So, we have our factory. We have it at level 2. And at level 3, we get the hover tanks. But the hover tanks aren't that good. Compared to the dewbacks, they're not really that great. And our barracks is at level 1, but we kind of need that for troops. Or at least to make troops to kind of stock us for the next attack. But... That would probably be more valuable, giving us dewbacks. And if I upgrade the turrets, I would need to upgrade the credit resources. So that'll probably be what I'll do. It'll probably be barracks, resources, turrets, factory, HQ, repeat. That'd probably be a good order, right? Because when you're looking at resource managing games, it's kind of like you have to save by defending and making the most efficient kind of upgrading strategy as possible. So, I'm thinking if I upgrade the thing that can get me more credits from an attack, I can end up actually doing more. That local rabble wasn't made up of the brightest lightsabers in the galaxy. Some of them ran off, and I'll bet they'll be back with a bigger force eventually. Our scouts are looking for their home base. When they find it, we need to deal with them. That's how it works here under the Twin Suns. We got one! We got one, ladies and gentlemen! Uh... Computer? Okay, there we go. Mission complete. Under the Twin Suns, number two. Oh, hello! I love it when the stormtroopers come out of the barracks, if they're like... If you were in a mission and they're all like coming out of the barracks at once, they're just like glitching into each other. I mean, it's hilarious. Look at them. They look like they're all inside of each other. Not that way. Uh, two unit transport. Oh, one level two unit transport. Bro! I got this! With When they located you, you will need a sizable sized force. Upgrade your unit transport to level two. This will allow you to have more units for standby. If you need to resources immediately, you can use your crystals to purchase resources and speed up construction. Yeah, see, I don't want to do that yet, because I want a droid. Droids are nice. Droids do good things. Good timing operative. Intelligence has supplied coordinates with your first target, a base belonging to the mercenaries who attacked you earlier. Launch an attack when you are ready. Ooh, we get to attack again. Okay. But I think I'm going to leave this episode of Star Wars Commander here. We did good. We got we got some decent progress. We got kind of a plan put out too, so that's always good. But how much does it actually take to upgrade you? Ten thousand. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't get the. Where's the dewbacks then? If I don't get the dewbacks from a level three upgrade, when do I get them? Level four. Ah, crap. That's going to suck, but anyway, I'm leaving this episode here. If you guys liked it, 
go ahead and slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.